Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the Scraper Challenge on RootMe. We've been able to automate the first task, which is communicating with the server and grabbing the string that contains the question we need to answer. And today we're going to play with the JSON in order to extract the valuable data we want to use in our quest to automate the entire process and hopefully answer the 100 questions automatically while learning how to code in Python and use the different scraping and socket libraries, etc. in a fun way. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm just going to explain the challenge and how to tackle it without giving too much. Let's get started. Don't forget to drop me a comment with any ideas you might have and don't include spoilers. Um, if you want to discuss the details, then you can root me's Discord server and you can certainly hit me up there. So we've been able to retrieve the question, right? Um, this was the third part of the message, the greeting message. So it makes sense to like name it question here. But since it's uh, raw, I'm just going to call it raw. Now, in order to extract the JSON object from that, it's a binary format, so I need to decode it and take that part right here. So we can always go back to the documentation of sockets and we can say socket convert string to JSON. So the first thing I need to do is convert, decode that uh, data that we've received from the server and then I'm going to get the JSON question using a library called JSON. You guessed it. So JSON dot load string and we want to pass in the question raw. And to be able to use JSON, I need to import it. So now ev if everything goes well, I can type print Q JSON and see what we get. Let's test that out. And indeed, we get back a JSON as expected. Now, watch if I uh, try to extract the URL, for example. URL like this, I should be able to get just the URL. Perfect. Now we've got the URL part. And in the same way, you can extract the different parts of the JSON. So here I can say, here, hey, define the URL to be this part, define the uh, cookie to be QJSON cookie, and then define my question to be QJSON.question. Now, if I print those values, URL, cookie, and question, I should be able to get something. Perfect. As you can see, we have the URL, the dictionary representing my cookie, and the question. I just want to make sure that I have the correct format or data type for my cookie. So I'm using the type. And as you can see here, indeed, it's a dictionary. That's going to be handy when we want to craft a request and include our cookie. So it seems that this will get repeated over and over and over again, because for every question, we need to extract the question raw from the server, decode it, convert the JSON string to a JSON object, and then extract those three values. I forgot to mention that here, the URL contains the double X here, which need to be changed. So any idea how to do that? We already have the CTF room right here. So we can use dot replace in Python to change double X to CTF room. And so now if I try once more, oops, I didn't print anything. Print um, URL. Indeed, I have the correct URL right here. Perfect. Let's define a loop here that will run indefinitely. And every time we'll take that request and then we will print the question. And then let's just 
close the socket. And let's define our socket inside the while loop. The idea here is just to collect the type of questions that we are going to receive, just in an automated way, to get an idea. And I want to sleep for, let's say, uh, one second. I don't want to overwhelm the server with my automated tasks. It's always a good thing to, you know, behave when you're talking to a server using a script. Give it some room to breathe. So we're importing the time and then we are using the sleep with one second. Let's give it a spin and see what are the different questions we are going to receive. Oops, S is not defined in line nine. Yep, that's correct. Because every time we need to receive the banner, so we put it there. It's just momentarily. And so now we get something, right? So these are the different questions that we're going to receive and they seem to be random, but they follow a common structure. So as you can see, we have what's the, and then something value of the element div and what's the first child's nonce value of, and here we don't have the element, but we have directly with we also have a question about what's the page title. We have other bunch of different question formats. So as you can see, we've been able to extract the questions and use a while loop to allow us to talk to the server. So let me just go back to my previous code right here. We don't want to close the socket and we don't want to print. Now the fun begins because we've now received the question. We have the URL, we have the cookie. Now we need to craft a request, get the response and try to answer that question. That's what we're going to do in the next video. It's a really fun challenge. I really encourage you to go ahead and try to solve it. To do that, you just have to create an account on RootMe, then go to capture the flag, CTF all the day, and then choose a free room or join an already existing room that has the challenge apprentice scraper and give it a try. It's a, you're going to learn a lot. Python programming, automation, HTML scraping, talking to TCP services, etc. As always, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.